Welcome back to the channel. I'm Paul and this is NC Grass Plugs. Today we're going to talk about the common topic of how to remove Bermuda grass from a zoysia lawn. And for many years we've only had one real option and that was a combination of Fusillade 2 and Triclopyr which did a very so-so job and it was also very you had the potential for damage and death um, for your zoysia grass and for trees, triclopyr is not, not really good to use around trees. Today, I want to announce that there is a new herbicide on the market. Now this herbicide is meant to be used with the Fusillade 2, which is Fluazifop as the active ingredient. Recognition is, it has two components. It has an active ingredient and, and an inert ingredient. The active ingredient is trifloxysulfuron, also known as Monument. Um, many of you have used Monument to spray out Poa annua in the spring. Um, so trifloxy is known for killing Poa annua and your other cool season grasses like ryegrass and fescues. So the inert ingredient in this mix is metcamifen. Metcamifen is a safener. That's what is helping this herbicide to be used with the Fusillade 2. So what it does is it allows the Fusillade 2 to be mixed at a much higher rate with zero damage to your zoysia. Now, three weeks ago, I sprayed my front yard. Um, we're going to show you those results today. But first, let's talk about recognition a little more in depth. So we have those two ingredients in it. So let's talk about the other things that um, um, trifloxysulfuron covers. What does it kill? It kills your cool season weeds. We call them weeds. Cool season grasses, poa annua, clover, dollar weed, sedges, kalinga, um, so we're getting a more broad spectrum of weeds covered with an application of this Bermuda killer, which a lot of people have um, a lot of these things going on in their lawn at the same time as Bermuda. So this may help you cut down on your herbicide applications. So there are some things you should know before you apply this. Now there is an application limit for the year. The maximum um, applications you can apply per year is three. Two is recommended for normal Bermuda infestations, severe infestations, you can apply three times. Now, if you use the max rate of Fusillade, you can um, uh, apply every five to six weeks up to three times a year. The lower rates of Fusillade can be applied um, four to six weeks apart. However, I'm gonna go ahead and recommend that you use the maximum rate for the Fusillade, which is uh, 24 ounces to the acre or 55 hundredths of an ounce per thousand square feet. Now we're gonna go take a look at our test plots so you can just see how they look. I'm gonna show you how to mix this and then we're gonna apply it. And after that, we're gonna go look at how it worked on my front yard. I shot video of the front yard. We had some issues, so I'm not gonna use that footage. Um, that's why I'm gonna show you how to mix it here today. It's very simple. Also, you will see uh, death of the Bermuda plant in one to four weeks. I started seeing death after one week in my front yard. After two weeks, um, I saw more death, more discoloration. Um, and at the third week now, the plant is starting to fade away. Um, the herbicide mixture is rain fast after three hours. Now you will always want to wear PPE when handling and applying herbicides that call for it on the label. And I urge everyone, even if you're watching YouTube videos and somebody's not doing it, always read the label of your herbicides so that you're applying it correctly and you understand how it's supposed to be used. Let's go take a look at the test plots and we're gonna mix up a gallon of this. We're going to apply the normal rate for one strip. Then we're gonna come back and apply the double rate 
and we're going to see if we have any damage on this double rate um, after a few weeks and we'll come back and bring an update on that let's go take a look all right just so it's known all these dead spots that you see in my test plots came from drought we had four weeks with no rain actually we had a couple of rains with a less than a total of a tenth of an inch in four weeks with highs in the mid to upper 90s every day so I did lose a little bit and I do not irrigate this at all so this is Zeon. Zeon is a fine bladed zoysia grass. We do have a little bit of Bermuda in here. Um, we've got some sedges in here. I'm not real worried about the efficacy on our test plots. However, this particular test is to show how it may or may not damage the zoysia grass. All right, so this particular plot here is the compadre. Compadre Zoysia, and this one here is Zenith Zoysia. So I got about a thousand square feet of each and 2,000 square feet of the Zeon. I do have Bermuda grass, I have sedges in here, I do have some crabgrass in here. It's not much, but I do have some. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to make we're going to make a single pass through all three test plots and we're going to make a double pass right here on the next row beside it and we're going to see how this herbicide mixture may or may not damage these different types of zoysia Let's go take a look at the front yard first and get an update on the previous application that we made. I'm gonna take you to some known Bermuda that was here. You can see this particular one is pretty much toasted. Um, there are plenty more that we're gonna show you here. Here we go, there's one. All this green that you see here is actually the zoysia, but the Bermuda plant is just gone. Let's go take a look at some of the larger patches that we had to spray. All right, this is an interesting one because now that we have killed this big patch of Bermuda, it has allowed the zoysia plug that was inside of it to explode. So you can see the death there, death there, death, lots of death, lots of death. There's some more. And when we come down in here, here we go. There's a big pile of death. And that is true for zoysia all over this yard. I'm sorry, that's true for Bermuda all over this yard. And just to let you know, I blanket sprayed the entire yard and you can see how healthy everything is. There was zero discoloration. I don't think it even stunted the plugs. Okay, so let's start out with PPE. That's your personal protective equipment. Rubber gloves, long sleeves, long pants, rubber boots. Always wash your hands when you're done. Um, so we're gonna wear our PPE while we are preparing our tank mixture and applying the tank mixture to the lawn. I'm only mixing up one gallon today. So I'm gonna use this jug instead of my sprayer to mix since I'm using such a low volume. I'm gonna have a hard time getting the mixer down into the tank. So we're gonna start out with one gallon of water. Now, recognition, goes out at, what does it go out at? 1.29 ounces to the acre. That comes out to 0.03 ounces per thousand square feet. Luckily, they give you a little spoon here with the 0.03 on it. So all you have to do is take your WDG formulation of recognition one level spoonful into the tank. 
That's a thousand square feet right there. What we're gonna do is go ahead and agitate this to get the herbicides in suspension. Before we add the next, which is Fusillade. Now this is Fusillade 2, also known as Fluazifop. The new formulation goes out at 55 hundredths of an ounce. Um, per thousand square feet. So there we are. The old rate that we used it at was, I think, 1200 of an ounce. So this is about five times as much and it's a lot more effective. So measure it out. Luckily, your bottle comes with a measurement device here. I could use a mixer, but I like to use this jug. I can throw it away when I'm done. And last of all, but not least, is an 80-20 surfactant. So this is your 80-20 non-ionic surfactant, at least an 80% non-ionic. Um, a third to a half an ounce per th uh, gallon is perfectly fine. And just to recap, we're going with one gallon of mixture per thousand square feet, 0.03 ounces per thousand square feet of the recognition, which is a dry formulation and 5,500s or 0.55 ounces, fluid ounces of Fusillade 2 per thousand square feet. So we add in our surfactant, we'll give it a good mix. Let me grab the sprayer and we'll dump it in and go apply it. All right, so we have our trusty Yard Mastery backpack sprayer, which has been best sprayer I've ever had. We have our herbicide mixture. This is what we're going to do. Make sure it all came out and it did. There was nothing in there that did not dissolve. What I like to do Flush the hose. We're ready to apply. Let's go get it out on the lawn. All right, we're gonna make a double pass on this same spot to see if the double amount of active ingredient is going to hurt the zoysia at all. And just like that, we're done. One strip, single application or regular application rate. And strip number two got double the application rate. So this is gonna be much more effective. I will put all the details in the description of this video so that you know how to mix it. Um, in a few weeks, when we come back with an update video, you'll be able to see if there's any damage here. I'm suspecting not maybe on the road that I put the double application. Um, I just don't know, but that's the reason I have these little test plots is to test some of these things and I'm happy to do it. I don't care how they look really. The 
front yard looks amazing. The herbicide is working and I don't have to worry about trees dying from triclopyr that we used in our old mix. So stick around. We're going to have some more update videos coming and it's about time for pre-emergence. So we may have a video on pre-emergence coming up. Remember, wash your hands when you're done. Take your clothes off and wash them. That way you don't get any herbicide on your skin, which can be bad for you. And we will see you next time.